Hello! Welcome everybody, I'm Scott and today I'm going to give you my top 5 tips on how to wrap a guitar. <coughs> no, 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 not that kind of wrapping, this kind. In this video today, I'm gonna to go over some of the essential tools that you need along with some basic steps on how to wrap a guitar. Before we begin, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Scott Bino and I like to cover all things guitars. That's gear shootouts, demos, reviews, tips, tricks, tutorials, other T words like tits. So if you're into that sort of thing, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. First things first, let's talk about the essentials that you need to wrap your guitar. You need vinyl wrap. Well, yeah, duh, but seriously, Get good quality vinyl, do not cheap out on this. The vinyl that I use is the one that's designed to wrap cars. Specifically, I use the interior wrap. I mean, you could probably use interior exterior. I don't think it really matters. The next essential tool is a heat gun. You need a heat gun. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. I got this off of Amazon, wasn't a lot of money. I can't remember how much I paid, but it wasn't that much. Without a heat gun, you're not gonna be able to properly wrap the guitar. Don't even think about using a hairdryer. It is not hot enough. Last, but certainly not least, is a good, sharp, X-Acto knife. I like to use these hobby knives that are sort of pen shaped because they're easier to sort of maneuver and get around curves. Side note, if you don't want to use a knife because you're worried about cutting into the finish of your guitar, you can use knifeless tape. But to be honest, I found that stuff to be a real pain in the ass to use, especially around tight corners and small intricate points like a headstock. It just doesn't really work that well. All right, let's get into my five tips on how to wrap a guitar. Tip number one, take your time. Uh. Seriously, I can't stress this enough. Do not rush this process. It should take you at least 15 to 20 minutes, maybe more to wrap a headstock and at least 45 minutes to an hour to properly wrap a body. If you're doing it faster than that, you're probably going too fast. Honestly, guys, this is not a race. Unless you're in some sort of like weird guitar wrapping competition where you have to wrap a guitar really fast. But generally speaking, take your time. Tip number two, this is a big one, plan your cuts. What I mean by this is when you position the wrap on the guitar and you peel off the backing of the wrap, it's tacky and sticky. So it's gonna be somewhat hard to work with as it gets stuck to different areas and parts of your guitar. So what you're gonna to wanna to do after you position it on the guitar is cut away any excess wrap that you don't need that's sort of getting in the way and getting stuck to different areas of your guitar. But make sure you don't cut away too much because you might actually be cutting into some of the area that you need to wrap your guitar. And what you want to do is also plan on how far you want to wrap your guitar. You can wrap it all the way around the guitar or you can do as I have done and wrap it all the way up to the binding and then cut along the binding line. All of these considerations are important before you make any cuts and before you place your wrap. One of the most important areas around planning your cuts is really around the neck and the neck pocket here where the neck meets the body. Depending on the shape of your guitar but if you're using a guitar of this style you have these two horns that sort of go across the neck. As you're working the wrap around the top part of this body especially around the fretboard here here, you're gonna find that the wrap is sticking to everything. So what I ended up doing is cutting a line down the middle of the sheet so I could actually move and maneuver around these horns. But be careful not to cut too far down the sheet so it's not cutting into the part where it's going to be attached to the body or too far over where it's going to be attaching to where the neck joint is. Sounds really simple, sounds really straightforward, but seriously, plan your cuts. Tip number three. This one is all about trust. Trust your vinyl. So what does that mean? It kind of sounds like a weird tip. What I mean by that is vinyl stretches. When you're wrapping contours of a guitar, so for example, with these PRS guitars, you have this contour on the bottom horn, or if you have something that has more of an arch top, so trust that vinyl as you stretch it to work around contours and tips. But be careful not to stretch too far, because one, you can kind of warp the color of the vinyl if it becomes too thin or you can tear it. Also be careful not to overheat the vinyl with the heat gun because if you do and you stretch it and pull it can tear pretty easily if it's too hot. Tip number four, practice first with a small piece of vinyl. Seriously if you do this you will thank yourself later you will have less wastage and less headache. So what you want to do is take a small piece of this vinyl and apply it to some area of the guitar like the headstock to just get a feel for how can you work it and rework it, how does it react to the heat gun, and how pliable and stretchy it gets around contours corners. It'll also give you a chance to see how the heat gun reacts to the vinyl. If you apply the heat too long or the heat is too high on the vinyl, it'll start to bubble. This can get really annoying if you've done a really large area of the guitar and you've come to find that there's some bubbles from overheating. You have to pull it up and sort of rework that vinyl all over again. Tip number five. So this last tip is entirely optional, but I highly recommend it. Remove 
everything from the guitar. Take out the pickups, unsolder them from the wiring harness, pull out the wiring harness and the pots, take off the bridge, take off all the knobs, take off the tuners, take everything off the guitar. If this seems daunting to you because you've never wired a guitar before and you're not replacing the pickups and the hardware like I did on these guitars, now is a good time to learn. No, but seriously, if the thought of doing that is a little bit scary, you might want to consider taking it to a store or a guitar tech to rewire it for you when you're done. Seriously, it is a hundred times easier to wrap a guitar if you remove everything from it first. You find as you're wrapping the guitar, you're going to be working around the guitar. You're going to be moving it around, maneuvering it to get it into the position that you need to actually get the wrap around some of the contours. It's just so much easier to do that if you don't have shit hanging out of it, like wires and pots and pickups banging around. Bonus tip number six, have fun. One. Take your time. Two. Plan your cuts. Three. Trust your vinyl. Four. Practice first with a small piece of vinyl. Bye. Remove everything from the guitar. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you found this video useful for the next time or the first time that you want to wrap a guitar. I might wrap another guitar in the future, and if I do, I will make a tutorial video step-by-step -step on how to do that. So keep an eye out if you're interested. Thank you for watching. Appreciate the support. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment in the comments below to let me know what you think. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. Peace.